we'll use conscious sedation quite frequently, particularly for older people or for long procedures. We tell the patients that they can expect to have some pain relief uh, for um, a few weeks uh, to months, hopefully. Sometimes it's transient. That's okay. We give them a little sheet to fill out because that's important information to know even if it lasts a day or two. Uh, we tell them they may have a flare of pain as uh, the uh, anesthetic and steroid mixture may cause a little bit of reaction initially. It should go away in a couple days as the steroids kick in, and the effect may not be 100%. So we lay a little crepe here for, uh, for ourselves and for the patients so that they don't feel like they're going to be cured. We can usually repeat this uh, three to four times per year, not any, any more, because we get a little worried about putting or depositing steroids that frequently. And we tell the patients that there may be complications related to infection or bleeding, which would be the most common, and that's even rare. Uh, we make sure the patients are off aspirin and NSAIDs for five days and Plavix for five days before we do this procedure. In the thoracic area, we'd be worried, or cervical area, we would tell them about the possibility of cord ischemia or stroke. And then we particularly tell patients about the effects of steroids. It makes them a little hyper, sometimes hyperphagic. Particularly, uh, they'll, um, they'll, if they're on psychiatric drugs, we want to make sure that they understand that they may get a little hyper on this. If they have diabetes, that there's, their glucose may be out of whack for a day or two, and to be careful about that. So we use low MA. A 22 or 25 gauge needle come down to the area, and here you see a disc herniation laterally here. Uh, we would come shy of that. Uh, again, under fluoro, you wouldn't really know that for sure unless you were just uh, poking it and hoping that the patient didn't jump off the table. Uh, on CT, we, we know where it is, so we inject a little bit of omnipaque, contrast diluted, make sure that it's not intravascular, and then proceed with the medication.